Hello all viewers alike. And this video is going to be part one of many for my first walkthrough Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. Thank you, no applause needed because of my stuff. <laughs> no, but seriously guys, this is my first walkthrough and Fid Drizzer or oh, sorry, I probably pronounced that wrong, but someone requested me to and I did it. So if you guys ever want to see a certain type of video, um, I'll always do any request anyone ever wants, you know. So this is going to be walkthrough sh uh, Shattered Dimensions. So, I don't know much about walkthroughs, but what I do think, think I know, is that you play the game with commentary with your thoughts on it. So, the first level you start off with Amazing Spider-Man with Kraven the Hunter. Um, he's the first one that has the fragment for Shattered Dimensions. I really like, <clears throat> I really like how amazing has Neil Patrick Harris' voice because I love Neil Patrick Harris as an actor and he's really, you know, I like his sense of humor and stuff so I'm glad they used him for amazing because he's funny, he has all the wits as regular amazing does. Um, that's how they, I, I like how they casted all the Spidey people from the last 25 years in the cartoons. I do wish they had Reno Romano, or Reno Romano, or whatever, from Spider-Man Unlimited in the two Spider-Man 1 games to voice spy, one of the Spideys in here because him and Christopher, Christopher Daniel Barnes are the two favorites. So, and I, I haven't seen him since, like, Sp Spidey Unlimited. But, as you can see, I'm wearing the Secret War alternate costume, and not the 80s Secret War, like, symbiote costume, but the new Secret War, which has a symbiote rip-off logo. So, swimming through the jungle, and we're chasing Kraven. My thoughts on this game were very high, because this has been one of my favorite games. Like, it ranks up there with, um, Spider-Man for Sega Dreamcast, PS1, and N64, which I have all three copies. And this is one of my favorites, probably my second favorite Spidey game. I bought it, like, the month, like, a month or two later after it came out, maybe the same month, and I was really excited. Well, first I rented it, because I had a pre-order, but it got screwed up, so I never got the cosmic suits with it. So I had a pre-order, but I never got the cosmic suits. But anyway, this game has always been my favorite. I like the combo moves. Like, let's talk about the fighting. This is not just a game where you press the same exact buttons over and over again. Like, not like a Marvel Twin Lions game where you just press the same buttons over again. You can do so many combos. You, there's so many upgrades. It's, it's really amazing what they did. <laughs> amazing. I'm in the amazing universe. But no, seriously. I, I, the move skills are great. You got the whole web of charge attack thingy going on. That's really cool. Like, Ultimate has this, but it's with the symbiote. You get to beat the crap, you get to beat the crap out of people. I beat the game. I'm currently working on unlocking the last three suits. I beat the game twice, actually. And still working on them. The other two alternate costumes Amazing has is Scarlet Spider and Bombast with Bagman. <laughs> That's kind of goofy. Scaredy spider. That was scary, huh? You dead. You'll be dead. That was scary. So I thought, man. I think in one of them. Well, this happens in every universe. This is like a total glitch with sound bites and stuff. He says, Ow, not the face. Like if you hit him and say, Ow, not the face. But it's Josh Keaton's voice. Which is Ultimate Spider-Man, but every universe says that for some reason, and it's actually kind of funny. Like you can clearly tell it's not Neil Patrick Harris or 2099 or Christopher Daniel Barnes. 
You can also extend your health, like right there, like to increasing, increasing, ugh, increasing. You can increase it really well. Ugh. God, I can never talk. Like, you can extend it to really great amounts with these things by buying points. Another thing that this game introduces is, well, yeah, is the ability to, like, dodge and stuff. Like, this player mode is really cool. It, it really makes you feel like a Spidey comic, or you are a Spidey. I really love that about the game. And Spider Sense. That also works well. Something they did in this, but they didn't do in Edge of Time about Spider Sense, is you can turn it on... And leave it on as you please. Like, in Edge of Time, it goes on for very briefly and then goes back down. And you have to wait for it all to go back to normal and then press up again. God, I haven't played this game in forever. I'm playing Edge of Time. Hopefully the camera is picking up the... Uh, Stuff better or whatever. I'm sorry. Were you saying something? And those things, the gold. See, you get all those uh, spider emblems for each, but the gold ones are really great because they boost up your health and how fast it grows back. Wait for him to come within range. When you have the shot, take it. I, I, I love Craven in this because they didn't try to make him more realistic like they always have in video games. And they left him with his uh, heavy accent and spidey. Like they left him with his heavy accent and they made him look exactly how he did in the comics. I like how with the amazing, the graphics really look like a comic book. I hope no one considers that to be bad graphics because that's how it's supposed to be. The graphics for this are phenomenal. And then they got better with Edge of Time. Thank you, Beanox, for working on this. I also saw a new trailer on YouTube for the new Spider-Man film game. And the graphics for that are insane. I really thought they stole a cutscene from the movie and put it in there. But this game is just a classic. It's really up there with the N64 game for Spidey. Because that's a classic, too. Unless I hope you guys think it is. One good game. Uh oh. One thing I do like about this game is the web zipping, but if you fall, they give you a chance to redeem yourself by pressing the web zip, but web zip button again and getting yourself back up to land. That's a really good, cool feature. Yeah. Let's focus it in. That's a really cool feature. And the web zipping itself is great. It's, it's, it's funny, if you actually um, look, if you actually listen to whenever he gets the spider emblems, it's the same noise, it makes a web of shadows if you get like a token, I forgot what they were called, I think it's a token or something, and it upgrades your health. God, uh, it's been so long since I played web of shadows. But it makes that that noise right there, boo or whatever, it makes that same exact noise. Right there. I don't know if you heard that well because it's kind of quiet. Sometimes you have to move the camera, so that gets kind of annoying sometimes. First serve. I like how you can't just press the same buttons over and over. Like, there's enemies that block. There's obstacle courses where you have to dodge around. and I like that. How it's not just pressing the same combos over and over. And some enemies require different um, skills to defeat. That's pretty cool, too, how... When you do a really good hit on them, they're, it's like slow-mo. I have owned you. 
with my webbing. Kapow. Yep, listen to Neil, guys. What he says inspires people. Like, kapow! Spider sense. Fiery spear. You all want to dance with me? Uh, I'm flattered. See, There's like, those witty comments like that. You all want to dance with me? I'm flattered. Like, that's funny. Heavy damage there. What also is good about the game is that while you're playing, you get uh, challenges. Or not challenges. Now I'm thinking Edge of Time. With this game is what's good is to get more points and stuff. Or is it challenges? How do you unlock costumes? Oh, I'm having a brain fart right now. Uh, I think it's challenges. Yes, it is. It's Web of Challenges. You get a challenge during the mission, which helps you unlock it. Um, I, I, I don't know if it's easier in Edge of Time or not to complete the challenges. But See, that water really looks like a comic book. That's really great about it. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think one of the comments is, or one, what what Neil says, or what Amazing says while he's playing is, if you pick up a vase and throw it, I think he says, that's Spider-Man, I'm Spider-Man, that's what I do, I throw things, or something like that. It's funny. Yes, they also bring back the classic web zip from Web of Shadows, where you do that and then press it. But it's much easier than it was in Web of Shadows because you just have to like like Web of Shadows. For some reason, it took me for to ever with that Luke Cage thing where he taught you how to web zip. Jeez, Craven. What's also funny about this is that the whole entire time, uh, Spidey keeps on calling his uh. Craving his little henchman a boy band, so Craving is pretty mad about it. That solves that. And Madam Webb comes in every once in a while. See, the good thing, like I was talking about the spider sense, is you can keep it on the whole entire time. At the edge of time, I really do sometimes find myself pressing it over and over again. Like everything that's bad glows. Yeah. I hope you guys are hearing this because it's awesome Neil saying awesome things. Alright, so guys, it looks like I am running out of time on my camera because I've still got lots of goodies to put on YouTube and haven't yet put on yet. So it looks like we're going to have to end this with part one and I'll upload this, send it to you guys. Alright? And then part two, I'll continue right here. I can pause it. Alright, so that was walkthrough part one of Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. And until next time, true believers. Oh, heck, I'm no Stanley. Alright, guys, see you next time.